What's going on guys? Dane here and welcome back to My Heroes and today we have a multi-part video that should be insanely short regardless. Uh, a lot of punch in this one in my mind, man. Uh, I did a thing. I picked up the deluxe license. And the reason I did it is because this is my job and y'all guys, you guys are making this my job right now. Like, first of all, all the suggestions. Y'all give me a lot to do, but I appreciate it, man. I really appreciate it. Um, a lot of content ideas coming out of the community right now. You guys are insane. This is the best community I've ever made content for, period. Period. You guys are blowing things up around here, man. We got 8,000 views yesterday total on the channel because of you guys. Like, I never even asked y'all to click the like button one time and y'all... I digress. I love you guys. I want to say that right after, You know, that ain't waiting until the end of the video this time. I love you guys. But that aside, um, I picked this up. We got a lot of mess out of it. 25 weapons. Um, and I'm just going to like, we're going to see if I get anything crazy out of the weapons and all the like chests that we have available out of this. And like, as far as these things go, I'm just getting a lot of effigies. That's all there. Like, I don't care about anything else in here nearly as much as I care about the effigies. I'm going to be getting so many effigies out of these cards that we got so many of. And we got our chest open, all kinds of crazy mess. I want to go over what we got out of the event. Um, like what I'm going to be going for in the event. And the answer is not this weapon. The answer is honestly just like, I want to get these keys. Uh, I got, I got this key right now. Absolutely. It's probably a 75. I haven't opened it yet. These soul cards, these skill ups, these weapon upgrades, these batteries. I'm not getting these because I can grind for those. I might get these after everything else. I don't care about the slot upgrade right now. It's nice, but like I'm at a point right now where I'm just going to be cruising through my equipment and like like replacing, replacing, replacing. I couldn't care less about these right now. That's like once I'm done getting my batteries and once I'm done getting these soul uh, you know, upgrades, which are like the next priority, I'm going to pick up a couple of these slot punchers and then everything else. If I don't get anything else out of this, I'd rather actually get the emote than anything else. And that's my thoughts on that event right there. But other than that, um, what are we doing? Well, well, what we're doing is opening a couple of weapons, right? Because we just picked up this uh, license. I don't know what to expect out of this. Uh, we got 30 of these things. I don't know what to expect, man. I, I doubt we're going to get a mythic right now. But what if we did, right? What if we did? We're going to see if it was... Oh, that, okay, that's orange to start out with, which is promising. But also, it's not a red. So, it is what it is. Did we just see a red? There's no way. We got a lot of... We just got a lot of legendaries, bro. We got Immolation, Fiend's Heart, and Blasting Shark, which I had two Blasting Sharks. Um, someone was asking for a Fire Ninja just now. It looks like we're doing a Fire Ninja build out of nowhere. That's red. That's red if I've ever seen one. It, it was That wasn't our guarantee, was it? Um, excuse me? It's, uh, an Umbral, right? Is that good? Because I don't know. I don't look up what other people are up to in this game because I feel like I can't give you my opinion on stuff. If I'm looking up what everyone else is up to. We just got a mythic umbral. I don't know if that's crazy or not. I'll let you guys know. We'll, we'll do a little review of it, right? Should we review some mythic weapons? Give you all like the real real. Um, but other than that, also, I, okay, so that's crazy. That's crazy. So we got a mythic out of it. And honestly, people keep asking me where to spend your diamonds. Weapon chest, weapon chest, weapon chest, weapon chest, gold chest. That's where you spend your diamonds. I'm on God. That's where you spend your diamonds. You need your mythic weapons. Mm, there's no other way to get it. Uh, there's no other way to get weapons, period, than chess, right? There, you're not going to be getting Mythic out of anything else. It, weapon chess is where you spend your diamonds. Um, if you're not spending it there, the only other place I've said it before is on, uh, what is it, gems? Uh, you can get, for 400 gems, you can pick up one of these. For, you get 1,200 gems, you can get yourself a M rank gem, and that's pretty much all there is to it. I have two currently, and they're overpowered. So, you know, that goes into your weapon and all that. Now, that's what I would suggest for that one. What else are we going to get out of this thing, though, man? Because we, we just got a mythic weapon. Hold on a second. I wasn't even hype enough for it, bro. Umbral. Suso so, Piercing Shadow. So, it works with Susano and it works with Substitution. We're doing a water build out of nowhere. Okay. Well, we can build a water ninja next. We can build a fire ninja as well. We got a lot of copies of stuff. We got a lot of stuff we can start up. It's definitely going to be the mythic weapon right now. Looks like we got a couple of content ideas. Oh, God. Oh, God. We'll open that in a second. Oh, later. Late, not today, but we'll open those in a second. Um, As far as what else I'm going to get out of this, uh, I don't know, man. Uh, where, where are these? Uh, we got a lot of gear chests I'm waiting on, man, until I actually need to open them. But we did get these witch key packs out of the event. We got all these pick materials. This is going to trigger everybody involved. Everyone get ready to be mad at me. Everyone get ready to be mad at me. Real talk. Mm. Look at all those effigies, bro. Look at all those effigies. You see that? 
Where, where'd they go? Hold on. There's more cards to be opened, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, are you mad at me yet? We just got these out of the battle pass. You know what I'm saying? And we're opening all of them with effigies. Why? Because effigies are annoying to come by. And that's all there is to it. And they're, they're busted. They're permanent upgrades. Like, the rest of the stuff, I mean, yeah, it's amazing. And honestly, like, I will pick up these Sanguine Knights. Like, one, one bunch of Sanguine Knights and maybe a second bunch. But that's it. Like, I, 122 of these out of nowhere is gorgeous. I'll pick up a couple more of these. Maybe some Soul Shards. I really couldn't care less right now, man. Like, we got a new weapon to upgrade. Maybe, you know, a couple, a couple of Soul Shards. That's what we got out of those. Uh, that's that. And now we got all these effigy option chests. So, of course, we're going to be picking up some for the ninja. Uh, why not? I do fully believe in working on one character at a time. Hands down. Um, we got so many of these pet upgrade pet coins as well out of it. What should we get with all the pet coins? We got to pick a witch. What the heck are we picking a witch for? These are cards, right? Not pets. Or are these pets? How do I know what the heck is what? I don't know, man. This person's name is Crotchel. Let's pick up Crotchel. That's funny. Hey, we got a... Uh, what type is it? It better be like a... Like a anything but a offense. I don't know, man. Either way. Uh, that's that for that. Was it worth it? We got a mythic weapon out of it. Um, did we get anything else out of it? I mean, we got all these effigies. Like, what am I gonna do with these effigies, man? I'm trying to decipher if it was worth it, I guess, is the point right now. Uh, I mean, it's gorgeous that I can get this all the way up. Now I really need to get my water attack up, right? Uh, with this new mythic. So we're gonna boost this all the way up. We five-starred it instantly, which is beautiful. Maybe I should finally get my defense up a little bit, but I couldn't care less. Um, efficiency whenever you pick up a uh, hero attack. Honestly, like more attack. Yeah, I'll take that at some point. Oh, we, uh, we're boosted. Okay, you know what? For $20, the thing is, like, I do think that actually is the best deal in the entire game. What is this? Pick a witch gear? What is this? Weapon, so what is hat? Wait a second. Wait a second. Uh, warrior, ranger, mage, priest, ninja. Ninja selection chest. What just happened? Ex what actually just happened? We just get something? Oh, God, bro. Oh, God. Oh, man. Here's the thing, bro. We need a fire weapon stat. What, Blazing Demon or Greenie's Claws? Oh, my God. This is going to trigger. Someone's going to be mad and someone's going to be excited. What do we do? Greenie's or Blazing Demon? Greenie's sounds nasty. Why does that sound? It's in the dead center. Oh, my God, bro. Oh my god. I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna go Green's Claws. It looks cooler, man. It looks cooler. We just got ourselves a second mythic weapon. What is happening? What does this do? When you deal damage with basic attack, there's a 1% chance to trigger blasting on hit. Deals 100% weapon damage to enemies? What's this thing's attack rate? Pretty good? I don't know, man. We're gonna find out at some point. Yikes, we're, we're, okay, well, okay, so now that I know you can just randomly get that, what, what was that? Like, where was that at? Where, what am I missing? Uh, where, where, where'd that bring us to? Does anyone know where the heck we just were? <laughs> was it Witch's Gift? Okay, so what, uh, spend a total of a hundred gold weapon tokens. That is a gold weapon token. Oh, duh. Okay, so you get two mythics. Okay, so knowing that, it's worth it. Hands down. Knowing that you get a second mythic right now, how long is that event going on? That'll tell me everything. Uh, does it tell you? Uh, 22, 3, 3. Yeah, that thing's worth it if you need to get to your uh, second. You get two mythics right now. Yeah, okay. And as far as, like, the rest of the stuff in the shop, like, there's nothing else that's even close to is worth it. So that's that for that one. Um, as far as how to build, I want to get that right out of the way for a couple of bonus tips. How do I build everything that I do? Um, because now you know what I get out of the event. Now you know what I got out of that. Yeah, that, all those effigies, bro. All those effigies. Um, as far as, like, how I build, um, first of all, I do want to say, uh, I used to, I came from MOBAs. I was getting paid to play MOBAs, uh, on the, on the main stage. Um, it's, it's where my background is. Before I was making content, I wasn't making videos or anything like that. I was playing with streamers, and it kind of got a name for myself because I was doing the wackiest things in their minds, and they didn't know what was going on with my builds, my play styles. I did things completely differently, and they were working, and they started to catch on. And I started playing with a different teams, um, and I got myself onto a crazy team, uh, goes by the name of Envious, um, and, uh, you know, I was playing, you know, and, uh, for a little bit, I was playing as a fill-in, uh, for Envious, for Cloud9, and, uh, 
There was one more like EU, like EU United or something like that. It was EU um, for for a fill in for one day. Uh, they weren't there for more than a season, but. Uh, the point is, um, the, the re like one of the things that I always brought to the table was building uh, characters and MOBAs, right? It was something that I had a knack for and coming up with like things that are creative because one thing I never do is look at a tier list. One thing I never do is listen to other people's advice because I have a brain for figuring shit out and it's a gift. And that's something that not, not everyone needs to have, but I have a gift for just figuring stuff out. That's all there is to it. Um, and that's kind of how my builds come together. So as far as like, I just want to do that for a little bit of a background on like where I came from as far as builds go and why people are like, man, your builds are nasty. Like I did it for a living, you know, I was making money doing it. Uh, and my builds were a big reason why I, like all my stuff was getting popularized. Um, and my builds were like the professional builds after a couple of matches. So, um, the, I guess what I do in this game in particular, like how that pertains to this is you are, I am aware that you constantly need to be swapping gear because you get higher level gear. And I'm also aware I'm not gonna be getting the same gear drops, especially if I'm progressing quickly, because every rift I go to, I'm gonna be getting higher level gear and higher level gear and higher level gear. I can't just maintain a build if I wanna keep progressing. I can't just replace everything one for one. There's no realistic way that's happening. So what I do instead is I, see a piece of gear that's high level that I really like once I feel like it's time to swap, once I start getting a little slower on my time, I start looking at the high level gear that I have that I really want to swap to. Now in this case, I had this available to me, right? This bloodstained coat. It's level 26, not the craziest rune slots on it, but when suffering bleeding, you'll fire along a blood arrow with a basic attack. It deals 130% weapon damage and heals you for 35 HP on hit. I really like the idea of that, and this only synergizes with bleeding, right? Now, it also has, like, substats that I need to change out at some point, but I'm not really going to change out these lower... Lo like, for me, these are still early game items. Um, So, eventually, I'm going to need to swap this out anyways. I'm not going to worry about the substats too much, but I need to work around bleeding because this is doing damage and healing me based on bleeding. So, Gladiator's Mask actually makes me bleed, and that only works when I'm bleeding. I need to bleed. Gladiator's Mask makes me bleed. Perfect synergy. It complements the piece of gear that I liked the most out of my highest level stuff. And this is going to make me deal more damage, uh, just in general. Like, I always deal more damage, which is gorgeous, because you need nuclear damage. Uh, it's going to give me, you know, uh, uh, me bleeding and everyone else bleeding. It's kind of the trade-off, sort of trade-off. Uh, so I bleed, other people bleed, but I do more damage. That's gorgeous. This is going to do more damage, right? Based off my weapon damage, which is based off my attack stat. Nasty, nasty stuff. Um, past that, this right here works perfectly with it. Uh, whenever you cast a skill, you deal 180% weapon damage and regen two mana from nearby enemies with bleeding. And this is giving everyone bleeding and myself bleeding, which is giving me more damage and healing me. These three work perfectly together. So past that, I know I have a full bleed sustain build. I'm healing off my bleed. Like, it's nutty. So while I'm bleeding, I'm healing. I'm healing while I'm dealing damage to people that are bled. And I'm dealing more damage in general. And ble So I, I'm going a full nuclear build. I'm running with the theme past that because I didn't have anything else that worked out bleeding. I'm running with the theme for everything else that fills in. So I have my gimmick, right? I have my gimmick. And gimmicks are fine. Don't like, I know people hear gimmick in a bad light. A gimmick is a build. A build is a gimmick. My gimmick is worked around bleeding because that's the best thing I had available to me. It was really enticing. It sounded fun, so I wanted to run it. Now, as far as this right here, uh, my basic attack damage is plus 50% after I use a skill. Now, as we all know, I have a skill that, uh, like, I dash, 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 and then I hold still, and I can fire my auto attack, but it just launches these, like, uh, wood shots out rapidly, and my basic attacks are going to be doing more damage while I'm standing there after using it. On top of that, I'm gonna, you know, after all this mess goes down, I'm gonna be dealing more damage. I already do 16% more damage, so every time I do a skill, that's 16% more damage. That's 16% more damage on the basic attack damage. I'm nuking, but I have no HP. I have, like, no survivability. Now, when you're on the move, you'll deal 13% damage. When you're not moving, you take minus 13% damage. Uh, so if I'm moving more damage, I'm just nuking with this build. I do so much damage, it's stupid. That's the gimmick. I do a lot of damage and I bleed people and myself and heal off that. That's my survivability. I focus on a little survivability as long as it blends in with my offense because I play very aggressively. Now here, now the 13% damage when I'm moving is just 13% on top of the 
Um, it's just more multipliers. And when I'm holding still using, well, let's point the skill out real quick. What's it called? Flash of Ruin. Uh, I attack and then I hold still. I'm taking less damage while I'm holding still and Flash of Ruin actually heals me when I'm holding still and using it based on my rune build right now. It synergizes with the rune build. Just like that. It'll heal me while I'm holding still. I'm taking less damage while I'm holding still because of this right here. Full blending of the synergies going on that I enjoy. And enjoyment's a big thing. Now, Tacky Sue right here, I stand by as the best shirt in the game. I stand by. This is the best shirt in the game. Uh, it's every class. You can use it on any class. Every time you take damage, there's a chance you'll just spawn an HP orb and a chance you'll spawn a high chance you'll spawn mana orbs. This is how you keep using your skills and stay alive. There are points where I run out of mana and I purposely run into something to get more mana and keep like moving through these uh, these timers. This, in my opinion, I, I fully stand by. That is the most universally incredible piece of gear in the game. I think it's broken, and I think a lot of people are going to start telling you it's broken very soon. That's how I build. That's how that's how it works. You start with what you want, right? Or what you want. So for me, I wanted to use this. I wanted to use Bloodstained Coat. And as far as my weapons, I, right now I'm at a point where I don't care about what my weapons are as long as my runes vibe with the weapon I'm using the most, right? Right now, I'm rocking grass wound, or wood runes because I'm using a wood weapon the most. And now, in this case, I'm going to be swapping to probably this right here because it looks fun and do a Fire Ninja build. It was just requested, so that makes sense. I'm going to swap my skills and my runes to Fire. So how do I know what skills I'm going to pick? Well, if I go down here, uh, this is going to work very well with Amaterasu. So I'm going to swap to Amaterasu. Oh, man, that works with Blazing Demon. I picked the wrong one, bro. I picked the wrong one. Big yikes. What does this work with? Anything crazy? Oh, my God. I picked the wrong one, man. Well, that's gonna I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cry myself to sleep after that one, but it's fine. Uh, either way, uh, we're still gonna be looking at, uh, God, that sucks. I wish I would've known that, actually. I really wish I would've known that. I, it's, it is what it is. Hopefully, I don't know if there's different runes in the game beyond the three that you get uh, to start with. I've never seen different rune types. What's going on in Forge? Can you find different ones in here? I don't know, man. I'm gonna have to find out at some point. Like I said, I don't look this stuff up. Um, but God, that sucks. But I'm going to be swapping to Amaterasu, which I already use, which is fine by me. And I'm going to be crying myself to sleep on the fact that I didn't pick up the weapon that associates with this blazing demon, man. I should have done it. I should have done it. I didn't know. I didn't know. I should have looked. That was a misinformed choice just now. And you just watched me make a mistake live on camera. It's fine. Um, beyond that. Um, so uh, it, when I swap to that, I'm going to be swapping all my runes to fire. Just, you know, it's going to be the weapon I use the most. I want to make sure my fire energy is all the way up so it's doing the most damage. My fire attack is all the way up so it's doing more damage. The gear build is almost completely irrelevant to me on what item I'm using outside of the actual substats. I don't care. I don't care on, like, what my gear is based on my weapon. My weapon is more revolving around my skills and my runes than it is around my actual gear itself. I think having things that work with your skills is cool. Like this one holding still when I'm like using my, uh, my ridiculous mm, flash of ruin is nice. But even then it's just a bonus to me. It's not the point. My weapon is around my runes and my skills. And then my entire build is based around uh, the gear itself. And almost nothing else goes into my mind when I'm doing that. And that's how I build in general. And that was a wild two-parter. I'm going to cut it off there. I don't know what else to really talk about. I'm just, I'm a little bummed out that I chose the wrong one. I, uh, someone confirm in the comments. I would love if you let me know if there are different core runes in the game outside of the three you have available. I would love to know. I have no idea. Uh, if there's not, uh, welcome to hell for me. And we are gonna, <laughs> we're gonna move on with our day. There's no way, right? Yeah, these are all with that. Yikes, bro. Yikes. Yikes. There's, there's nothing in here, bro. It's all over. My, my career's done, so it's fine either way. Uh, that's it for this one, guys. Um, is there anything else I wanted to talk about? I completely forget. Um, oh, I do want to say one thing. Um, this is something that came up because I've been doing a lot of my, uh, my what are, not activities, my uh, daily tasks over here. When you're doing Secret Chamber, uh, don't be that guy that jumps in and out and in and out and in and out of someone's lobby. Like, like, oh my god, there's no one in here, and then you leave, and then you join the same one. Because first of all, you look dumb because you keep joining the same one that had no one in it. And you're also wasting that person's time and you're telling them like, hey, your time is less valuable than mine. So I'm going to keep making sure other people think it's empty. 
because I ain't sticking around for a couple of seconds. I'm going to back out and back in for some reason. You will get kicked out of my lobbies if you leave and come back twice. That's all there is to it. And also, if you are jump into someone's lobby, and this is just etiquette, like be a good person. If you jump into someone's lobby and you tell them, go, or go, go, or anything, like if you tell them to start it and you jumped into their lobby and it's their keys, you just got your dinner paid for. They're their keys. They are paying for your dinner. They're paying for your gear and you're telling them to eat faster. I don't know, man. Mm, do better. <laughs> I'm triggered today. Can you tell me either way? That's it for this one, guys. Uh, as far as like, was that worth it? Yes. Uh, two mythic weapons. Did I make the wrong decision? Yes. But, you know, we'll play around it either way, man. And until then, until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.